stop trying so dang hard to heal. Mm. I became very, I don't know, just hyper vigilant about being on this journey and doing things perfectly and trying to heal so much so that I was missing the point. I was really missing it. And the more that I accepted where I was, not accept the fact that I'm living in chronic pain, of course, that's very difficult. I can't just say, oh, I'm happy with that. That's not authentic. That right. is not true. Yeah. But what is authentic is saying, I can have compassion right, for myself right now. I can love myself through this as I would a best friend or a partner or someone in my family that I love dearly. Why do I not deserve that same thing from myself? And when you start to love yourself and have compassion for yourself in that way, and you just start to accept like, okay, while I'm not able to hike a mountain today, here are some things that I can do to bring myself joy or to feel connected to my body and not treat it like an enemy. Because our bodies are not our enemies. They're giving us a signal that something is off and it needs our attention to go inward with love and compassion, not with anger or separation. It's like an invitation to finally go inward and start to ask the questions. Like, what, are, what is this trying to tell me? What is out of balance in my life? Is it a relationship that I'm in that I know deep down I shouldn't be in and my body is screaming at me? Is it a job that I'm working that is like soul sucking and I'm losing balance in my life? Is it stress, low level stress that just builds and builds and builds? Like go on the journey, go on the journey and have compassion and love for yourself. And when you do that, everything can change. Everything will change. <laughs> 